Hello my friends, this is Iggy back again. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to enable G-Sync on a FreeSync monitor. In this particular case, I'm using the iBuyPower Gaming Ready VIB G202 machine with the Viotech GN35DR 35 inch ultra wide curved gaming monitor that does have FreeSync. So first, what we want to do to make sure that the monitor is free sync and on top of being free sync free sync is enabled we'll just want to go ahead over here using the osd and then we'll come down to on this monitor every monitor is different so we'll see down here we'll see free sync and free sync is on and let me zoom in just so that you can see that for sure Okay, you can see that right here, FreeSync is on. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. Okay, so, and just so that you guys can see, I am using on this machine an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070, it came with it. Now, I've already downloaded the latest and greatest drivers, but you can get them, just go to geforce.com forward slash drivers, click start search, and there we go, 417.71, it may be newer by the time you see this, it may not, they just came out today, so I'm kind of do doing a dry run with you guys, I haven't done this before, so I'm a little bit nervous to see what's going to happen. So now I already have an older driver on here. So the correct way to uninstall the driver is of course to just go to the control panel and uninstall a program and then uninstall everything that says NVIDIA. The problem is you can uninstall maybe three or four of these without having to restart, but you have to restart after that and for just about all of them. So it's gonna take you like 15 minutes. Now the other way, the way that I've been doing it for years, is maybe a year or maybe two, is you go to wagnerdsoft.com, you go to DDU down here, and just download this guy. It's going to be, click here for download and support, and then we're gonna go ahead and click official download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to re-download it. I've also downloaded the NVIDIA drivers as well, so I'm not gonna re-download them. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. So now what we're gonna do is right click on the start button, go to shut down or sign out. Then we're gonna hold the left shift key on the keyboard and while we're holding that key, we're gonna go ahead and click restart. Okay, so then we click troubleshoot, then we click advanced options, see more recovery options, startup settings, and here it's gonna give us a list of what this is gonna do for us, so then we click restart. All right, so then here we're gonna go ahead and press the number four on your keyboard to go into safe mode. Okay, so then in safe mode, now at this point we would have already installed DDU so we'll open up File Explorer, we'll go to the C drive, and then we'll go to DDU, or wherever we extracted DDU onto, Display Driver Uninstaller. Then we'll go ahead over here and select GPU, and this is going to get rid of NVIDIA graphics, or GeForce graphics. Now if you had an AMD, you just click on the drop down here, select AMD or Intel, whatever you may have and then we'll go ahead and clean and restart. So that's gonna go ahead, strip everything in video. So you don't have to do it one by one manually. And then when it's done, which it only takes a few seconds, then it's gonna go ahead and restart the computer. All right, so it's removed all the drivers. Now it's gonna go ahead and restart the computer. Apologize for all the lights. It's kind of difficult with a curved display not to capture a light.
Okay, so now that we have, we're back in Windows, we'll go back into File Explorer. And if you remember, I've already downloaded the latest driver, 4.17.71. So I'm going to go ahead and start that up. And then choose the default path to install. You could change it. Totally up to you. Now, DDU also stops the drivers from automatically installing when you've uninstalled them, as we did through DDU, and go back into Windows, which if you've already uninstalled drivers before, you know that it's, you know, the minute you reboot, it's already downloading another driver. This will disable that so it doesn't bug you while you're installing. Then also, it's always great to use DDU because it gets rid of the remnants of all NVIDIA drivers or AMD or Intel video drivers. That way, you know, you don't have any corruptions or anything like that that may be due to older drivers. Okay, so then we're going to select NVIDIA Graphics Driver and GeForce Experience and click Agree and Continue. Custom. Next. And then perform a clean install. What that does, it even though we've already done it, we're just going to safeguard that. Perform a clean install, uninstalls anything NVIDIA, and then reinstalls the newer drivers. But we can see here, everything says none under current version. But regardless, I like to check that box and click Next. Okay, so now just we're going to go ahead, uh, we'll leave that one and we'll uncheck this guy here. Alright, so now that that's installed, how do we enable G-Sync? Alright, for that we just right click on the background and we'll go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Oh, and this is new. So now you have to agree to a license agreement. This is probably in case something happens with FreeSync support or G-Sync support on a FreeSync monitor. Agree and continue. Just make sure you read through all of it because, you know, super important stuff and all. So, I already have my FreeSync enabled on the monitor through the OSD as I showed you earlier. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and then click Set Up G-Sync, which obviously is not there when there is no G-Sync support. Okay, so we have enable G-Sync and enable full screen mode. I didn't have to select that. So let's see if there's anything here to apply. Okay, so then right over here, display specific settings, enable settings for the selected display model. Okay, and then apply. All right, so here we can see the GN35DR FreeSync, or should I say G-Sync, is now enabled. So if you saw earlier, I was playing Battlefield on FreeSync. So let's see what happens if we play Battlefield with G-Sync on a FreeSync monitor. Now again, there are no speakers on this monitor. So I'm going to have to play without sound, and I don't have my speakers here. It's just finishing up the update that just came out today as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and start the game up. So remember, we've just downloaded the latest drivers that enables G-Sync on FreeSync monitors. And we're using the RTX 2070 from MSI on the Viotech GN35DR 35-inch ultra-wide gaming monitor that is a FreeSync monitor, now enabled with G-Sync. Play, multiplayer, conquest, and play. 
So I have the frames per second temperature and all that good stuff on the tight top right hand corner. You can see it right up there. Again, a bit of a handicap because I don't have speakers, but that's okay. Devastation. And as soon as I get in the game, I'll show you my settings. Well, I'll show you here options, video, 2560 by 1080. Everything is on over here. And then under advanced, I am under high. I do have DXR and DX12 enabled as well as high dynamic range. So everything's good here. DXR as well, high. So let's jump in. I won't take a tank because it's not a real game right now. All right, so she is playing beautifully. A few little micro stutters there. Nothing horrible. God, this is the worst place to be without audio. <laughs> Now I'm stuck here. Great. How do I get out? Oh, this is awesome. Except not really. Ah. I'm going to have to kill myself. Yeah, no, no, that didn't do it. Oh, now I can get out. Okay. So right there. Uh, no, that's not it. So she is playing, looks like with V-Sync and G-Sync, or even without G-Sync, maybe. Without V-Sync, sorry. We're at 60 frames per second. Looks like we might be capped there. Oh, I can't get you. Oh, somebody right up there. So let me check V-Sync. Uh, advanced. Let's see what happens if we turn it off. Is that going to mess up anything? Alright, so I see now we're getting over 60 frames per second. Again, I don't know that it's going to matter. There you go, buddy. Oh. Anyway, you can see she's playing beautifully 70 frames per second with RTX on. A 2070 MSI, an MSI GeForce RTX 2070 on the Viatech GN35DR 35 inch ultra wide curved gaming monitor that is FreeSync capable. But again, because of the latest driver, it is now G-Sync capable. I'm running it on the uh, iBuyPower gaming ready machine. As you can see, she's running amazing. Oh, come on. Move, please. Do something, tank guy. Come on. Move up, at least. Come on. Okay. I hate to be idle for so long. Oh, now, now you move. Where'd you go? Anyway, again, this is Iggy showing you guys what the latest driver can do on a, the latest NVIDIA driver can do on a FreeSync monitor. Iggy out. See you guys.